Tim, thank you so much for that. Um, and not just the kind words, uh, thank you about the British Library, but also uh, a speech that managed to be inspiring and cautionary all at the same time, which is a nice balance to strike. Uh, the phrases I got, the importance of close reading and small data, we've just been hearing that in the questions, uh, the power of the particular, which we obsess about here at the British Library. If you go into our reading rooms here, that's exactly what people are do, doing here, constantly looking for the particular insight. Um, and I have to say, uh, from a former professional uh, insight uh, experience for me, uh, voice onset timing was a novelty to me, but as a former radio producer who years ago sat cutting out on analog tape the pauses between words <laughs> and putting them next to me, I realized I was throwing away data then, which could have been analyzed. Um, thank you. I should introduce myself. I'm Roly Keating. I'm chief executive uh, here at the British Library. Uh, it is a great pleasure uh, to be able to host uh, this event. Uh, as Tim said, uh, British Library Labs is unique. We believe that to be true and we're very proud of it. Um, it is novel and innovative and yet at the same time I think, we hope, it is reinventing and transforming part of our age-old mission of advancing knowledge by gaining deep insights from the collections we hold exposing them to new scholarship, to new creative ideas, partnering with others, inspiring others, empowering them. Uh, this is not for us to do, this is for us to create the means for you to do new and exciting things. And even in its short lifespan, I've been staggered by the sheer vitality and diversity of the projects that have come through. Not, by the way, just the projects that have won and happened, but even the sheer list uh, of inputs and ideas that we're not able to pursue, but which I think show, uh, in very simple language, I think we're on to something here, uh, and I hope we can pursue it. Uh, very early on last year, I started following the mechanical curator on Twitter, uh, and uh, even now, in lonely moments, at least knowing I'll get one interesting tweet an hour uh, is a great pleasure, but to have seen that project grow so rapidly, the publication on Flickr columns, we had uh, Flickr Commons, uh, we had the American artist uh, David Normal here last week talking about the project he did using the material gathered by that project to turn into an artwork which he took to the Burning Man Festival uh, in Arizona last year or earlier this summer uh, in, in six months flat moving from data that was hidden, locked up in analog texts to something experiential and real on the other side of the world is just one measure of how quickly uh, uh, innovative scholarship can be metabolized into something else these days. Uh, and there are many, many more examples, I think, still to come there. Uh, none of this would happen without the generous funding uh, we received from the Andrew Mellon Foundation. Don Waters there has been a huge supporter of this. We thank him and his team, and we thank them in particular uh, that the project has been extended now by two years. Hooray, there's so much more to do. Uh, my thanks to, to our distinguished advisory board, uh, who keep the whole thing uh, on track. Uh, you've met Tim, he's a member of it. Uh, there's also Claire Warwick, uh, Andrew Prescott I know is here, I think others are here, um, uh, Melissa Terrace, Bill Thompson, uh, and David DeRaw. And among other things, it falls to them to help to choose the winners of the competition uh, to uh, become the British Labs uh, projects for this year. Uh, and uh, it's my pleasure now to uh, formally celebrate uh, our winners this year, uh, announced in June, and they've been working with our teams since then. Uh, so uh, may I first of all please uh, call up to receive a, a little goodie bag and a few other things. Uh, uh, and you'll be hearing, by the way, more from them, don't worry, very soon. So you, you'll only get a glimpse now, but you'll find the whole thing in a, in a few minutes. But first of all, uh, Dr. Bob Nicholson from Edge Hill University uh, for his database of Victorian jokes from our archives, uh, the Victorian meme machine. Uh, come up here, Bob, please. Thank you. Very good. Can you come around, uh... Thank you. 
And uh, 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 the other uh, winning project uh, is from Dr. Desmond Schmidt and Anna Gerber from the University of Queensland, which is their text-to-image linking tool, uh, which links digitised manuscripts with their transcriptions. Please, come up. I'm afraid no Anna today, but we have Desmond with us. Uh, without entirely knocking over the furniture, I think that's uh, it from me. Uh, it remains for me just to uh, express a few final words of thanks to the team behind the project. Uh, Adam Farquhar, of course, uh, Mahendra Mahay, uh, and Ben Steen from the library team, uh, and the volunteers and the work placement students uh, who add all the extra effort to give the project uh, its vitality. Uh, that's Yanis Lagamatsis, Ting Ting Wang, Wendy Durham, uh, Sylvia Oralaiti, uh, and Brandon Jeffrey, and the library's digital uh, research teams. Uh, uh, please, uh, this is a project we are very proud of. We hope it grows and thrives. Uh, we think it's a portent of how the disciplines are going to come together around these collections over the years and decades ahead. You are part of that. Uh, it is a privilege. I hope it will be fun too, so enjoy the day. Thank you very much. <laughs>